All right, all right, all right. We get it, we get it. You want to breed angelfish for profit. You want to make some money. But one thing is stopping you. And the only thing that's stopping you is deciding on what kind of angelfish you want to breed. And this is a very important question that you need to ask yourself before you start breeding. Now, the reason why you want to put some thought and dedication into what kind of angelfish you want to breed is because the type of angelfish that you breed is going to determine whether or not if you're going to make a profit or not, if you're going to be successful. Um, the first thing that you should probably do is figure out is whether or not if you want to sell your fish locally or if you want to sell them online such as eBay or Aquabid or just any other website that allows you to put your fish online and sell them and ship them out to other people in, in the United States. Now, if you plan on selling fish locally in your area, then what you want to do is you want to figure out what type of angelfish strain is in high demand in your area, in your city. For example, in my area, we only have assorted angelfish, meaning we only have silver, blacks, um, marbles, those kind of angelfish, gold angelfish. We only have the common type of angelfish. We don't have too many platinums or cobalt blues or koi's. And if we do have those color variations of angelfish in our area, then they are pretty expensive and they are pretty pricey. So if I were to breed locally, with that information being known, I would go ahead and breed koi's or platinums or something along those lines because I would know that those type of strains would be in high demand in my area and people would buy them because the local fish stores don't have too many of them. But now keep in mind local fish stores don't pay pretty good for your fish. If you want to make the most profit on each of your angelfish, you need to sell them online. Most people don't want to do this because shipping fish is kind of risky and there's a lot that goes with it and it's pretty complicated. And I don't blame people for having this fear. I had this fear and I was able to overcome it but only because I was willing to take the risks and there have been a few times where shipping angelfish has backfired on me and I have lost fish and lost money shipping fish. I can discuss this in another video as well, but the reward is higher and the risk is greater when you ship angelfish. But knowing that also gives you comfort knowing that you have a broader, I guess, consumer base on the internet because there's a lot more people that you can sell to and you're not isolated and just selling near your area you can sell all over the United States and that's why you get more profit when you sell online so even if you know you go online and they have the type of angelfish that you're breeding as long as you have good customer service skills and also your angelfish look great then you know you should have no issues selling your fish because selling your fish online it's a lot easier to find a buyer and it's a lot easier to sell your angelfish online it's just the process of shipping them out to the customer makes it difficult and makes people just want to sell locally as long as your fish have good fins good coloration then you will be able to sell online. People will buy all kinds of angelfish, whether they're common or uncommon, they will buy them online. If they see that your angelfish have very good looking fins and they don't look stunted and they're a little bit rounder than usual, their body shape is on point and everything is to perfection, people will buy your angelfish. If you have a bunch of silvers in their veils, and they're really long fins people will buy them on on ebay you know but if they're stunted and they don't look so great then you know people won't buy them it's about quality when you sell online it's not about variation um, it is about variation but mainly about quality because everybody is selling all kinds of different angels online so you know people are going to be selling what you're selling online most likely unless you create like a hybrid variation color strain of an angelfish like I guess I did because I believe I was the first one to do a silver and platinum combination I didn't see too many or I didn't actually I didn't see any at all of that variation online or anywhere else 
In my experience of breeding angelfish, I was able to breed silver kois, which you see there in front of you, and also silver platinums, and people did buy these fish from me online mostly. I sold a few at one of the local fish stores here, but they were only giving me about a dollar per fish, and I wanted more, so I learned to ship fish, and I started selling them out, and I ended up breaking even. I didn't make a profit, but only because I made a lot of mistakes that first-timers make when they breed angelfish and they get batches going. Um, I had a lot die on me from stuff that I, I didn't know about at the time. Like I said, made a lot of mistakes, but second time around, I'm sure I'll do better. But anyways, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. My name is Master Aquatics. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.